Simon Locke. I'm the founder and CEO of Communications Match. Today I'm delighted to be with James Maloney, who serves as the Vice President of Public Affairs for the American Investment Council. He leads the Council's public affairs programs, media relations, stakeholder communications, and oversees AIC's Public Affairs Committee. James, um, we're here today at a panel discussion focused on the reputation of financial services. Where does the industry's reputation stand today? Well, I think if you look at the reputation of the industry, we're still in a place where we're not fully understood. Uh, and I think that's in large part due to the fact that it's true that we've changed practices over the year. It's true that we've become positive actors, not just for economic growth, but also for societal good. But the last thing you regain is your reputation. And I think if you look back to the financial crisis, there was a perceived uh, breach in that, in, that, in that trust that is the root of reputation, and that's the last thing you gain back. At the Investment Council, you have the task of highlighting the contributions of private investment to the economy and retirement security of US workers. What are the challenges and opportunities you see as a communicator in getting that message across? Well, I think the major challenge in the private market is always the fact that there's a lot of private equity firms, there's a lot of venture capital firms that want to, they want to keep the private in private equity, so to speak. Uh, on the flip side, we have the opportunity of the data being on our side in that we have the best returning asset class for these public pensions over the long term. And so when you have those positive statistics to bring with you when you speak with stakeholders, when you speak with the media, when you speak with the public at large, uh, it tells the story for you. And you just have to frame it in the, right, in the right way and make sure that you have industry practitioners that are willing to step up and talk about their own personal experience on your behalf. Are there takeaways from your role um, that you see maybe as particularly relevant for other financial communications professionals who are seeking to get their messages across at this time? So I think in, in financial communications, you're always, first, you're dealing with a very sophisticated press. And second, you're dealing with a press that is often hostile and at best skeptical at what you're saying. And so I think constant communications with them day in and day out, not in good times or bad times, but in the 90% of the time where you're in that in-between phase where not a lot is occurring, and you can get to them and speak with them about issues that are relevant to a particular firm or to the industry at large that they may or they may not find of interest, but it's important that you're communicating with them. So then when that crisis does occur, or when that really good story does happen that you really want to get out there to the public, they're on your side, they're your ally, they're your colleague, uh, and you're not approaching them from left fields coming in at the 11th hour and trying to either fix a situation or really promote a story without having worked with them in, in the interim. James, thanks very much indeed. Thank you.